What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 15 of our Winter is Coming to Civ 5 series where we are playing as Daenerys Targaryen in the hopes of conquering the Seven Kingdoms. In the last episode we ended our war with the North and the Starks by conquering Winterfell, which is right here, making it our third kingdom to hold. We now hold Marine, uh, D the Dothraki and the North so our eyes are now set on to the South and ever closer to King's Landing. Now, last episode we saw quite a few of these Vale troops like kind of just randomly moving into our territory, which was really, really strange. I don't know if they're at war with maybe uh, the Free Folk up at the top. It was just very, very strange that they moved so many troops in. We can't really see much of their land, so we don't really know where they are. Maybe that's all they have in troops. But we do know that their capital city here is extremely fortified. It's got um, mountains all around it but and a fort. So really only two access points. One right here and one right here. So either way, we're definitely going to have to face them soon. They're probably one of the biggest rivals we have so far. They have significant gold per turn. More than we do, actually. And they... Um, have been we've been kind of doing a bit of a cold war uh, in favor of the city states which i think we're about even now on how who controls how many so let's have a look at what's going on so he wants furs but i'm not willing to just be paid just gold i will uh, i will take 5 gold per turn and our happiness is doing okay of course, the North are denouncing us. Now, with Civ, basically, if you don't conquer a Civ entirely, then they will denounce you instantly. Um, but in our case, we just want the capitals. We want control of the North. Now, in my eyes, the North are subject to us. We control their home, and they are now completely defeated and just plodding on by. We had to completely wipe out... Um, the Dothraki just because we didn't want our home city to have any risk whatsoever. So, okay, so is he going to die this turn? No, let's move our Unsullied down. Yunkai are apparently starving. So, put some food folk. Oh, god damn it. We're only missing one. So, if we've got a worker nearby, we have this guy. So, if I take his automation off and I'll go and build a farm. So, we've got some troops. We're probably going to need some more, though. Um, especially if we're going to go against that fortified city. That, that city is ridiculous. So, we'll move these units down. We have some trebuchets as well. Where's the other one? It's here. Let's move this dragon back one and get this down there. So, they're in a great position to just launch an offensive. Our two dragons are here, but they're healing up. Which is good. We have a worker that can just automate. This knight needs to heal up. This unsullied can come down this way. So, I mean, he, I don't know where he's going. And they, oh, they have a city right there. We need to keep that in mind. And, yes, Yunkai will do with you next. So we'll put these there. In four turns, we'll be able to actually gain control over Winterfell. We have some gold, so in the meantime, I'm going to build... Um, let me actually build a ship here. And I will... Do we need anything else in here? It's quite far away now. Now that we've gone all the way over here, we really want Winterfell to, Winterfell to, to move on. So, I'll build that ship. That might help us scout out this ocean here. And see what's going off down there. And all these just need to go on hold. They just need to wait for a bit. And we have our navy coming out here. I'm actually going to send out our navy over to Tolos. Just, it's going to act as a deterrent. We've got three ships so far. Another one's going to come out next turn. And we're good. We've got some good gold. Our happiness is... Low at the minute. What does he want? Oh. <laughs> He's friendly with us, to be fair. He doesn't really care about our warmongery, apparently. Other than the fact that our spies got called. That's the only reason why he hates us. But he wants us to go against Balon. But we can't really get to Balon, so we've not really got a benefit out of it. What I want is I want the Bale. I want the Bale to be wiped out. The Vale has also 
reach their ideology. And what does she want? She wants furs, but again, I'm only interested in gold. Give me gold. Unless you've got some special resources for us. So, yeah, we are... I think we're still number one in military, just because our navy's been boosting the troops we have been losing. But we have to keep that in mind, like, we need to keep on growing. So let's heal up that trebuchet. And get you over there, killing that. And you need to go on up there and build us some... Uh, repair one of these farms for us. Of course, we've got some more white walkers. They're very, you know, it's like they're, it's like raging white, uh, raging barbarians is on, but I don't think it is. It's just, yeah, it's strange how, co like, constant they are. And you need to go over to join the rest of the ships that are sailing over there. And I'm just waiting for Winterfell, so three turns. I want I want to quickly get Winterfell unlocked. I don't want to go to war and have to deal with the fact we can't build any troops for a couple of turns. So this archer, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send over this direction. Actually, see, they've got a bunch of troops there that we need to be aware of. I told you, yeah, you you can carry on. And let's see, so, two more turns after this one, uh, no, I'm not going to make any more friendships, I've got Renly and I think he's starting to dislike us, um, but I don't want to make any friendships because if I end up having to turn onto them next, I really don't want to have to deal with the fact that I broke a, a friendship, I mean they're already pretty much going to denounce us I think. We're, on, we're gonna, especially when we wage this next war, when we, that's too much warmongery for them to tolerate. So we can anticipate uh, some denunciation soon. You can just heal. Uh, you can just be alert there. You can come around. So yeah, they've got some units in this city. I'm gonna send this one over there as well. And. I'm going to see it's, it's such a long way to deal with that one over there. Put you on alert. Let's get you down here. Some barbarians there. T t taking someone's worker, probably the dreadfort. And yes, you build a farm. Um so I will also send this in here just to reinforce this center. I don't want to be losing any of our any of our cities. Then again, if he was to take some of these weaker cities, at least while I'm going in after the the Erie, I wouldn't be too fussed. Uh, the Erie is the most important one, and Winterfell. Like I want to keep all the capitals, obviously. Uh, I'm not interested in giving you open borders for one gold. No, no, I value my borders a lot more than that, mate. And I've just noticed, actually, that um, Sunspear have just settled a city right here on the tip of our continent. So now we've got these guys right here. It's very annoying. And um, there has been an update to one of the mods. I mean, there's been an update to both mods that I use, so... The Winter is Coming has an update where some of the sieves are different, but I've not updated it for this game just because I don't want it to corrupt anything. Um, but if I do another playthrough, then I'll definitely be able to upgrading it. The other one is the win the Decisions one has uh, updated, and there's a few here look that are like specific to uh, me, me as the Targaryens. And let's just have a quick look if there's anything. So wow, this one gives us. 2100 I'm doing that oh my god 21 especially since we're going to war um, and we'll leave that for now so make sure you do your updates the winter the decisions one is having a quite a big boost in um, its you know it, its development and there have been a lot of specific ones for the uh, Game of Thrones sieves coming in there so that should be really good and now that we're getting to the later game as well, you'll notice that some of the models really aren't Game of Thrones uh, friendly. 
Um, that's just, I think it's just harder to do through the ages. Uh, you'll notice that some of the ships are, like, war, like coming on to, like, kind of warships coming up to that era. And I think some of the cities, like, are starting to use rockets. Which, you know, it's part of, obviously, it's a mod that's trying to override the game as much as possible. And it takes work to actually do that much. Um, so, as long as they, we're, st we're still playing as our beloved Targaryens, it'll be fine. So, we're getting to a good point where I think I might declare soon. I don't want them to keep building up too many troops. I'm seeing a lot of troops floating about. And actually, this is a really weak city, so this might go down quite quickly. So, I think I might declare next turn. Let's see. And we're getting really good on our tech. After banking, we're going into kind of the future techs. And I think the next one that we unlock, actually, is like the Master Whisperer or something like that. And it unlocks the entire map, which should be really interesting to see. Because we don't actually know how some of these sieves are doing. Right. Our dragons are fully healed. In my... Uh, Okay, so before, oh, and we let's be, let's just sort out Winterfell. So, the position of your military is somewhat worrisome. I advise you to withdraw, and for the sake of future peace, I no. <laughs> uh, okay, so I want to buy the courthouse. Uh, we will add uh, no, no. We will instead buy. I want to buy. Let's have a look. Let's buy um, some cro a crossbowman for this turn. So now that we've got full access to them, let's do a production as well. Let's get a monument going. Uh, let's add to the queue of... Uh, do we want any of those or do we want units? No, units are like really... We're not really going to get much benefit out of them. So let's get some production and some happiness and gold going on um, and happiness market yeah there we go that'll do right so I think let's just do it mm -hmm. trading blows with you will be my pleasure make sure that you put up a good fight so okay so we've lost a trade deal there um, our allies have declared war, of course. Their allies have declared war on us also. And if we look at the demographics, who so we are doing the best on troops at the very least. That's pretty good. So now let's move in our units. Or well, the trebuchets going in here. Uh, let's bring archers. Oh, there's a city. Can't quite see them yet. And we might as well move this guy in here. That can attack. And um, let's send a dragon over to help these guys actually. And for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump in with this dragon just to uncover it. See, see these are using rockets now. These citizens just because they've got a cer to a certain stage in their technology uh, that they are, are gonna automatically use them. It's a lot harder to kind of develop that. Um, Let's get our ships are slowly but surely making our making its way over. I wish they were kind of smart enough to. Oh, we've lost Volantis. Were they? Um... That's annoying. They must. They we we did have them as our ally for a while. They must have taken over. Okay, so we put you there. And you can go in here. Let's see what, how these are against cities, actually. Can you, yeah. Oh, nice. That's good. So we've got a boat hope happening there, helping there. That's good. We've got the Dreadfort, who are enemies. We've got so we've got two units to contend with. I don't know where this one's going. I don't know if it's going to land or not. We will have to see. They're going to attack our ship. Yep. A dragon's taking some hits and their units are moving in. So I think I'm going to... I think I can attack with the trebuchet this turn. Uh, which is really good. And we'll do that now. Um... So, 
So let's just clean up some of these. Who else? Tolos can attack. Oh, we've got some troops coming in from Mer. Uh, this is why I want to really secure the city-states that are on our territory because um, we can make sure that they're not going to declare war whenever we go to war with any of the mainland, the Westeros civs. So, can these attack the city from here? Yes, they can. Boom. Oh, yeah. So, the thing is, is I don't want to... I'm going to move the... Oh, yeah. See, they've got some troops coming up now. I don't want to, like, take this city until I've got the troops, you know, defeated. Because otherwise, they're just going to take it back. And get you attacking that. And get you attacking that. Oh, yeah. Bring you in here. And for you, um... Let's bring her over here. Just, I don't know, I think you're probably still going to get hit, but we'll see. And you just need to be nice. Get into the territory. Get up there as a deterrent for anyone who might decide to attack our little city. And you need to, um... Yeah, let's bring you in for the next turn. You can go over here as well. And the... Oh yeah, these crossbowmen need to come down here in some way. And then let's buy another unit in this. We want to keep these units up. I'm going to build another knight. Alright. So we're doing quite well. They do have some units laying about though, so I think we're going to carry on finding units as we just, you know, as we progress in inwards further. Okay. See, so, yeah, this, wow, they're sending up more units now. I'm, oh god, I'm hoping my dragon doesn't die. It's surrounded, I need to retreat him. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think they can do that much damage to the dragon, right? Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, dude, you can survive this. Oh, my God. And now the city. Oh, fucking hell. Have they done it? Did they kill the dragon? Oh, my God, they killed my dragon. Fuck. Oh, God, second dragon down. That's okay. Oh, God damn it. I'm so reckless with these things. I can't, like, stop them from dying. Oh, fuck. Second dragon dead. I only have one left. God damn it. <sighs> okay. So, we have one dragon down. Again. Let's, let's, come on, let's take a city as punishment. Come on, dude. Yeah, take it. There we go. So who was it? Who did it go to? I'm not giving it to Rob. He, he can he can fuck off. He's just denounced me. Right. So let's clean this up. And you can deal with him. Ah, uh, yeah. I've lost yet yeah, another. I was doing so well, you know. I was keeping them very well protected. I wasn't doing anything reckless or stupid, like you know getting them killed and then what do I go and do I go and get it fucking killed it's alright we can recover from that I'm gonna move him down so that he can we need to they're getting these troops in on us I don't want him to take this city after we conquer it so guys I'm gonna leave this video here uh, thanks for watching so far I hope you enjoy we're now at war with the Vale, who's probably going to be one of our toughest opponents the other opponent that we're gonna have to deal with is going to be um fuck he's got 18 oh shit uh the other opponent we're gonna have to deal with is sunspear they're doing quite well um and yeah we're gonna try and take the eerie take our next best city and hopefully win another kingdom thanks for watching guys please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you next time bye guys